Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. May peace and blessings be upon you all. So in this video, as you guys have seen from the title, I'm going to compare the Nicene Creed with Surah Al-Ikhlas. So I'm going to compare them and I'm going to put it in front of you guys to decide fairly which one of them makes the most sense. So what is the Nicene Creed and what is Surah Al-Ikhlas? So the Nicene Creed is the defining statement of mainstream Christianity and also part of the profession of faith. The first original one was made in 325 AD in the first council of Nicaea and was amended later on in 381 AD in the first council of Constantinople. And on the other hand, we've got Surah Al-Ikhlas and Surah Al-Ikhlas, Ikhlas meaning the pure belief is one of the small chapters of the Quran and it is considered one of the most profound and one of the most important chapters of the Quran when it comes to describing the belief system of the Muslims. Otherwise, every chapter of the Quran is important, but this uh, specific chapter describes what we as Muslims believe in. So let's get started. I'm going to start with the Nicene Creed and then the Surah Al-Ikhlas verse by verse and I'm going to put them over here. You can see them and compare them. So the Nicene Creed, first verse, we believe in one God. Surah Al-Ikhlas, first verse. Qul hu Allahu ahad. Say he is Allah, one. The Nicene Creed, the second verse, the Father Almighty maker of heaven and earth and of all things visible and invisible. Similarly, in Surah Al-Ikhlas, Allah says about Himself, Allah Hussamad. Allah is the sustainer needed by all. So now coming to the third verse of the Nicene Creed. They say, And in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all worlds, light of light, very God of very God, begotten not made what does allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say in the quran as a reply to this allah says lam yalid wa lam yulad Khalas. he says he neither begot anyone nor was he begotten so now let's go to the last verse the nicene creed it states uh, talking about jesus christ that he being of one substance with the father now what does the Quran say in reply to this? Quran says, وَلَمْ يَكُلْ لَهُ كُفُوًا أَحَدٍ And there is none comparable to him, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That there is none comparable to Allah. So guys, here you have the two statements, the Nicene Creed and the chapter from the Quran. And you guys now compare these two. And you guys tell me which one of them makes the most sense. And guys, I'm also going to put this in front of you that notice how the Nicene Creed is being developed first 325 years after the death of Jesus Christ, Isa alayhi salam, may peace be upon him. And then it is being amended some 60 years after that in another council. So this is definitely not something divine that is being written first that to 300 years after the death of the prophet and then it is being amended by some humans like 60 years after that creed was established and also guys notice how in surah al-ikhlas the chapter from the quran how allah subhanahu wa ta'ala briefly in the smallest amount of words describes himself and glorifies himself and to be honest if we start with the praise of allah you know if we start writing the glory of allah and about like we start praising Allah, we may never end, we will die, but we will never be able to finish glorifying Allah. That is the glory of Allah, that is the praise of our Lord. Still, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in such a small paragraph, in such a small surah, describes himself that he is one and he is the sustainer. He neither begat someone nor was he begotten and then there is no one comparable to him. Meanwhile, if you look at the Nicene Creed, you will get confused, Yani. You will read it one time, two times, three times, and you will get confused, Yani. We have one God, and then we have one Lord. And then the Lord is the Son of God. And they're of one substance with each other, Yani. They're the same. So, it, so I'm going to leave it over here to you guys, for your judgment. Be fair and honestly tell the difference. While ending the video, as an ending note, I want to tell you guys, if you're a non-Muslim, I would advise you to go read the Quran with the translation once. It is, you will simply understand what 
our faith is what we believe in and wallah it will make more sense to you yani i have my bible over here okay i have my bible over here yani. i read it sometimes for comparative religious studies and i swear wallahi it becomes sometimes too complicated that he was the son of that and he went like adam was the son of god and david was the first begotten son of god and then suddenly jesus becomes the son of god but then there's only jesus who is the son of god and i'm telling you go and read the quran with understanding with the translation inshallah it's going to make sense to you guys assalamu alaikum see you guys later